नमो बुथाय वेलकम टू दिस चैनल लेट्स टेक अप मिडल डिस्कोस इज थर्टी टू द टाइटल ऑफ दिस डिस्कोस इज द लॉन्गर डिस्कोस एट गोसिंगर सो एम एन थर्टी वन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द शॉर्टर डिस्कोस एट गोसिंगर नाउ दिस इज द लॉन्गर डिस्कोस एट गोसिंगर एंड दिस इज द डिस्कोस वेयर बुद्ध इज एंड देर आर सर्टन स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बुद्ध डिसाइपल्स ऑफ बुद्ध हु डिस्कस अबाउट द द काइंड ऑफ बेस्ट क्वालिटीज ऑफ अ मेंडिकेंट ऑफ अ मंक और अ स्टूडेंट हु इज इन टू बुद्धास टीचिंग्स सो वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट वेन दे वर लिविंग टूगेदर द एट द नियर द साल फॉरेस्ट पार्क इन गो सिंगर देर वर सर्टन सीनियर डिसाइपल्स ऑफ द बुद्ध विच इज लाइक वेनरेबल सरिपुत्र महामुगलना महाकसपा अनुरुद्ध 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 वॉज देयर इन एम एन थर्टी वन ओन ऑल्सो यू नो द थ्री मंक्स ही वॉज वन ऑफ द मंक रेवता आनंद एंड अदर्स सो दे वर ऑल टूगेदर there was this question that uh, you know, that arise arose at uh, and uh, it was asked that you know the question was that uh, sariputta saw them coming off in the distance and asked to ananda come venerable ananda welcome to ananda the buddhist buddha's attendant who is so close to the buddha ananda the sal forest park at gosinga is lovely the night is bright the sal trees are in full blossom and the divine scents seem to float in the air what kind of mendicant would beautify this park right so the question was that who is the kind of mendicant who will you know meet the kind of this this level of this park you know the the beauty and the divinity of this park so basically what are the qualities of a you know a mendicant so what what happened is one by one every every monk gave their own answers from their own perspectives right so so the first uh, uh, answer was Uh, reverend sariputta it's a so it's uh, ananda who replied that it's a reverend sariputta it's a mendicant who is very learned remembering and keeping what they have learned now again remember this what An- ananda is saying is basically because he was very learned he was considered to be the most learned of all the buddha's um, students right so everyone answers it from their own perspectives they bring their own flavor right to that same question so Uh, and see the whole thing is that we are not monks uh, but we are students of the buddha so we can draw our own kind of insights and wait for buddha's answer at the end right so everyone answered and they went they went to the buddha and asked so buddha had a different answer so wait for the uh, you'll have to wait to the till the end of the video for the for the buddha's response right so first ananda's response ananda said reverend sariputta it's a mendicant who is very learned remembering and keeping what they have learned right remembering and keeping what they have learned so when we learn something we just don't forget it we just remember and keep it in our mind these teachings are good in the beginning good in the middle and good in the end meaningful and well phrased describing a spiritual practice that's entirely full and pure they are very learned in such teachings remembering them reinforcing them by recitation reinforcing them by recitation mentally scrutinizing them and comprehending them theoretically and they teach the four assemblies four assemblies are the assemblies of monks nuns lay, lay men and lay women they teach the four assemblies in order to uproot the underlying tendencies with well rounded and coherent words and phrases that's the kind of mendicants who would beautify this park so that was ananda's response right now the full discourse is available in the link to the full discourse is available in the description you can check out that discourse and get on read that full discourse to get your own insights okay so when he had spoken sariputta said to revata revata anand has spoken now what now please answer the same question so revata said reverend sariputta it's a mendicant who enjoys retreat and loves retreat retreat is basically retreating from the from the busyness right retreating into seclusion so a, a mendicant who enjoys retreat and loves retreat they are committed to inner serenity of the heart they don't neglect absorption they are endowed with discernment and they frequent empty huts that's the kind of mendicant who would beautify this park so basically solitude retreating solitude not neglecting absorption that means staying being absorbed within endowed with discernment what is right what is not right and they frequent empty huts means they frequent places where they can just meditate right okay then sariputta said to anurudh reverend anurudh revita has answered now we ask the same questions to you so now what anurudh let's see what anurudh says 
Anirudh says, Reverend Saniputta, it's a mendicant who surveys a thousand worlds with clairvoyance that is purified and surpasses the human. Just as a person with clear eyes would survey a thousand orbits from the upper floor of a royal longhouse. That's the kind of mendicant who would beautify this place. So, basically, uh, he is saying that uh, he has such a good clairvoyance that he can, you know, survey a th like he, his clairvoyance is so purified. Just as a person with clear eyes could survey a thousand orbits from the upper floor of the royal longhouse, right? Then, um, uh, Anuradha had answered for I speaking the, uh, from his heart. Now we ask you the same question. So now what Mahaka, uh, Mahakasapa says, Reverend Sariputta, it's a mendicant who lives in the wilderness, eats only arm food, wears rags and robes, owns just three robes. They praise these kings. They are of the few wishes, few wishes, content, secluded, aloof and energetic. They praise these things. They are accomplished in ethics, immersion, wisdom, freedom and the knowledge and vision of, vision of freedom. And they praise these things. They are the kind of mendicants who would beautify this power. Now, if we are lay people, maybe some things don't apply to us. I mean, some things we cannot yearn for. We have to live in this life and be as a lay people and earn our daily living and take care of the family. But what we can do is that we can, in doing our lay life, in living our lay life, we can have less, few wishes, right? We can have our contentment, right? We can be secluded from time to time. During the day, we can have our secluded space. We can have our you know, solitude to meditate, right? All that we can do. So let us take away from this discourse whatever we can do as a lay people. Okay, then uh, when he had spoken, Sariputta asked Mahamoglana. So Mahamoglana, Mahamoglana said, uh, 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 Reverend Sariputta, it is when two mendicants engage in discussion about the te teaching. They question each other and answer each other's questions without faltering and their discussion on the teaching flows on. Right? So it's basically discussing the teaching back and forth. So that's like a very good way to kind of memorize the teaching and that's a good way to internalize the teaching when two mendicants discuss the teachings. So if you find a good friend, a good Sangha friend whom, with whom you can discuss the teachings, then it is a very good thing. Your concepts are also clarified. His concepts are also get, get clarified. Then Sariputta. Sariputta is asked that what is basically your answer to the question of how, what kind of mendicant would beautify this path. So Sariputta said, Reverend Moglena, it's when a mendicant masters their mind and is not mastered by it. In the morning they abide in whatever meditation or attainment they want. In the, at the midday or in the evening they abide in whatever meditation or attainment they want. Suppose that a ruler or their minister had a chest full of garments of different colors. In the morning, they had donned whatever pair of garments they wanted. At midday and in the evening, they had donned whatever pair of garments they wanted. Basically, mastering the mind, not being mastered by it, and abiding in meditation, abiding in the attainment, whenever possible, right? So, for a men mendicant, for a person who is a monk, it's the person can do it. Uh, you know, they have a lot of time to do this, uh, but for us, it may be difficult, but at least we can have our times morning and evening, where we can devote ourselves to our meditation, right? Then they went on, all of them went to the Buddha and they said that we've all discussed about this question and everyone responded like this. Uh, so, 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 Buddha said, very good, everyone, you have all responded very well. So, <coughs> Sariputta asked the Buddha that, <coughs> Sir, who has spoken well? So, so Buddha says, you have all spoken well in your own way, right? So everyone, so Buddha appreciated everyone that in your own way, you have answered very well. Now, however, listen to me also as to what kind of mendicant would beautify, right? So everyone waited to hear the Buddha, what he will speak. So Buddha, now Buddha says, it's a mendicant who, after the meal, returns from arms round, sits down cross-legged, sets their body straight and establishes mindfulness in front of them thinking, I will not break this sitting posture until my mind is free from the defilements by not grasping. That's the kind of mendicant who would beautify this path. That is what the Buddha said. Satisfy those venerables, approve what the Buddha said. So please understand here that everyone was talking like, sorry, Buddha, uh, Ananda was talking about learning and, you know, uh, uh, I think Mahamoglana or, uh, just a second, uh, 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 Mahakasapa talked about living in wilderness, right? Uh, 
so then someone took talk about clairvoyance buddha came back again to the th- to the thing about the practice doing sitting meditation doing sitting with that determination that you know i will free myself from all our my defilement sitting with that uh, kind of a i will say determination right and uh, with the end goal in mind to be free from all defilements so uh, what my take away as a student of the buddha is that uh, all these things will be there right some things i cannot do because i am a lay person i am not a monk but a uh, main, main important thing is my mindfulness practice right now as a as a as a lay person i might not be able to do a lot of sitting meditation because i don't i don't have the time for that i have to attend to my work and everything but my priority is my meditation my sitting meditation morning and evening and in the day to day task my walking my eating right becoming more slow and be more mindful of my movements my speech right that is my goal right and uh, that is where my one pointed focus has to be right so this is just my learning and uh, uh, reading these discourses basically may not relate 100% to our life but they motivate us and they there's some some purity uh, uh, some purity of mind that one gets when you when when one reads you know the this uh, these discourses so do read this discourse and uh, do share your own insight or thought as to what is your one takeaway um, uh, from this reading this discourse in the comment section please share and uh, thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaye namo buddhaye